What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here with part one of the Mummy Demastered playthrough slash walkthrough. We're coming off of a really fun playthrough of Ender Lilies where we completed it 100%. Now I'm not sure if we're going to 100% this game, but I will be showing you the, and sharing with you the strategies that I use to defeat the bosses, find different power-ups, etc. This is another Metroidvania. One that I have played in the past, I played it back in 2018. The game was originally released 2017 by WayForward, the same studio that produced like Shantae and some of those other excellent games. So uh, it's, I wanted to go ahead and talk about this one a little bit and uh, feature it for you guys. It's a little bit shorter. So let's go ahead and begin. Prodigium agents are a rare breed, trained to identify and react to situations far beyond typical understanding. I trust you. Oh, God. I'm not able to read that fast. Something about prepared agent. Yada, 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 yada. But anyways, let's see if we got a little introductory sequence here and see if I can read through it fast enough. Somewhere in Iraq. Okay, excellent. Let's figure out the controls. Agent, we lost contact with our ground team several hours ago due to a developing situation elsewhere. You'll be going in alone to investigate any signs of disturbance and re-establish contact with the ground team. This is an area of great importance and steps must be taken to maintain its security at all costs. Good luck. Alright, so as I was trying to say though, um, this is another Metroidvania and we're coming off of uh, playing Ender Lilies, which is an excellent game. I'm just trying to figure out the controls here. We have infinite ammo, which is fantastic. He's kind of just cycling through for something. Okay, maybe that's just my joystick's a little loose because I play hard. Okay, that's fine. So we have a roll. We have a jump. The stick is sensitive as all get out. That's awesome. No worries, but I have played this before a long time ago. I think it's 2018 when I beat it. Uh, this is my first playthrough, and it took like six hours or so. Um, but I'm starting fresh because honestly, I don't remember anything about it. It is based off the movie, which was terrible. Typical Tom Cruise sprinting around everywhere. Previous reports from our agents suggest the presence of unnatural life forms in the caverns that may be beneficial to destroy any such entities until we understand what happened to the ground team. If the targets seem unreachable, you can focus your shots by pressing and holding ZL or ZR, allowing you to aim your weapon in any direction. Ah, that keeps you stationed, okay. Keeps you grounded, that way you can shoot at an angle. Alright, there you go. Practice. But anyways, uh, I did watch the movie one time. It was okay. I mean, it was just kind of... It wasn't the Brendan Fraser mummy, so I was like, oh, like, what is this? But anyways, it is part of the... Oh, hold on. God, every time I'm trying to talk. Agent, there may be ledges in the caverns that you can drop through to proceed. Fully understanding your environment is an important part of any mission. Crouch and press B to drop through these platforms. Similarly, you can jump up from beneath when ascending. This was part of the... Uh, the so-called dark universe from Universal, where they would have, they're trying to create a world similar to, I'd say reignite their world, where, uh, you know, kind of like the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and how DC is also trying to do it. I think all the major studios are trying to do something similar, but um, these guys kind of did it a long time ago, where they'd mash up a bunch of their most famous characters and and uh, movies and all that, just so that they could, you know, keep them alive, so to speak. Like Frankenstein, Phantom of the Opera, the Invisible Man, I think Creature from the Black Lagoon, and you know, a lot of that stuff. Caves often have narrow passages, but we can't let that delay us from reaching our agents. If you find yourself unable to proceed, try crouching and pressing B to roll. This should allow you to squeeze into small spaces that would be otherwise impassable. Is that even a word? Man, that, that joystick is loose. Okay, my OCD is not going to let me just... There you guys go. It wouldn't let me leave it there. I'm sorry. Nice. Bunch of, uh, like, Anubis-type statues. I'm not really good on history here. All will die on Egyptian history. I'm pretty rusty on it, let's just say. Okay. You're dead. Ah, God. Spiders, not so bad. I do hate rats. Spiders, on the other hand, aren't so bad. Agent, come in. Agent, if you can hear this transmission, I'm seeing unprecedented readings across the entire region. Abort mission and return to the drop point immediately. I repeat, return to the drop point. Never. 
Well, can't go that way. Yeah. Eat my sucker. Okay. Here goes. Get some. Oh, he can aim up too. I love that. Yeah. Roll. Jump. No. Okay. That is a little tricky aiming there. That's okay. Gotta get good while we can. It's probably... I am probably gonna die. No, I won't. I'm not gonna die. Oh my gosh. Maybe I will. Where did all these guys come from? I have two health. If something sneezes on me, I will die. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna live to fight another day. Oh, no, I'm not. I died. Who shot me? <laughs> First death of the game. I am now a zombie. And this is a kind of unique death mechanic that's in this game. Hold on. All agents report for duty immediately. Code red situation currently in progress. Commanders have been issued. Drop coordinates and organized strikes will continue until the incident. Of the this is the reason Prodigium exists. We are the only line of defense against such evil. We have planned and we have trained for this moment and we will see victory. You also master speed readers. Agents are authorized to destroy any monsters they encounter and to utilize any ancient relics which can be secured on site. Doing so may prove the difference between survival and a fate worse than death. Your mission priority is to locate and subdue Princess Amanette by any means necessary. Remember what is at stake should we fail. Good luck. <laughs> it's like, you will die. But if you don't, mission accomplished. So there's a cool little die death mechanic in this game. Uh, once you die, if you have, like, items, this is something I do remember, uh, all of your items, you know, you become a zombie, and then all of that, that zombie has those items in its possession, you have to go and kill it, otherwise you lost all your power up, so you have to go back to this location where you died at, and, uh, and secure the goods, and procure your weapons anew, which is pretty cool. And I love that we have infinite ammo, I'm gonna be shooting this all day. Right, they're not really good at aiming, so it's more of a spray and pray technique. It is pretty. The joystick is my Joy-Con is pretty loose, so I play a lot. Good to hear from you, Agent. I trust you were able to locate this terminal with little trouble. This is a save room. You can resume your mission here at a later time, and we can use it to track your progress in the event you become compromised. <laughs> Several Prodigium techs touch down ahead of you and should be nearby. They're holding equipment which will be extremely useful during the mission and imperative if we hope to stand a chance against Amonet's power. Look for these techs as you get a feel for the area. I'll be monitoring you from Prodigium headquarters safely and will contact you with relevant information. Keep your wits about you. I want to say that he was Dr. Jekyll in his movie. We are saving. This is the first save point. Game save. I want to see you. Okay, I have a start menu and I have the map. Okay, love it. Love it. Okay, that's also just moving. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out if there's any other controls that we need. But I'm glad we have a map so we can take a look. Oh gosh, rats. Like, everyone that has ever seen my show, oh my gosh, me stream before knows I hate rats. I literally have goosebumps right now. Gosh. Disgusting, and they're all mutated. I don't remember this. <laughs> I must have been playing this late at night after a few drinks. And I was invincible. Alright, let's see. Cutscene. What's up, Aminette? She's all animalistic right now. Leave here. Oh, she probably... She flipped me off. Didn't know the ancient Egyptians knew those gestures. Jump. Okay, oh wow, he's got mad hops. Okay, that's excellent. Kill a zombie. I'm just gonna keep, I'm never gonna let go of the shoot button. I think that's my strategy. Alright, come on, cricket. Cricket! Okay. Okay, we can jump through these little platforms. That's not bad. I'm just gonna hold up. There you go. Oh, I can't get up there, though. I don't have... Well, I can jump incredibly high, <laughs> but not that. Perfect. We're gonna go down, then. Oh, no! I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if I can get the health back. Of course not. Everybody else dropped health. Can't get through these. Uh, let's go left. Oh, we got another save point. 
Game saved. Nothing over here. I'm, I'm over here looking for illusory walls. I'm like, there must be a secret. Been playing too much Ender Lilies. Now, uh, if that, if they're such a thing. Game's excellent. I'm not complaining. I'm not at all. Okay, I can't get up there anyway. It's fine. Bust through this. Got some health back. Excellent. Little bats. I don't know if the water hurts me right now, so I don't want to fall in. Oh, my God, I fell in. But I was. Well, actually, you know what? I don't know if that actually hurts me. Nope, that hurt. The bat bomb hurts me, though. That's for sure. Good. Need that health. There it is. It's a big one. Alright, we're not going to the water. Oh, there's more rats. Every time I see that's going to freak me out every time. I'm going to say that right now. Ah, oh, it's chasing me. It's just the tails. It's the tails that get me. Can I not go down here? Of course I can. Alright, let's go back up this, uh, this here doohickey here. Boom, 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 boom. Boss mode! No, I'm not. I love that the platforms reappear rather than piss that they didn't. Did I miss a doorway over here? Oh, gosh. That's where I came from. Snacks! Oh, I almost cussed so bad there. <laughs> Alright. Trying to not cuss. So hard. Because I'm going to save all my good cuss words for the end. Alright, bombs. Yes! Throw a grenade with R. That's what I'm talking about. Russell Crowe not going to come talk to me anymore. But anyways, uh, this game's pretty solid. I think it's excellent, and it uh, fits right into that whole Metroidvania genre that I've really been focusing on lately. I want to continue playing these types of games because they're just the most enjoyable for me, and I love this style. Like You get a lot of hours out of them, a lot of, uh, a lot of really good things you can do, like walkthroughs, things like that. And I just love making the content for these types of games. So It's really nice to be able to share them with you while I play through them casually as well. The a oh, agent, is the technician there with you? I'm seeing some odd readings from their bio tracker. I see. Fortunately, they left their data log behind with the topographical information they gathered. This will automatically upload to save your own map readout, giving you some idea of what's ahead. Please use that data to locate the other three techs immediately. They've all lost contact with Prodigium, and I fear the worst. Their last known locations have been marked on your map. Proceed to these areas immediately and ascertain the threat level to our men. Hurry, agent. So they mark waypoints. That's excellent. And I'm the little glowing dot on the left. Perfect. So yeah, that's some odd readings right there. Yeah, I'm picking up odd bio readings. You shouldn't be picking up any readings. You're dead. Now stretch the whole legs out. Oh no, I didn't mean to throw that grenade. Whoops. Oh, got one back. Okay, sweet. So these are things that we can actually pick up from enemy drops. I love it. I need a means to like cling to ledges or something. This is not working. Another one, perfect. Okay, so we got two grenades. I wonder how many we can hold. Possibly three, I bet. Okay. He said I'm gonna hit you anyway. Nah. Okay, get the health back. Those are like, worth 20 points of health, so. You like the big health drops. Oh, smack. Okay, well, I don't, oh, piranha from hell. Okay, don't want to die. That'd be an absolute bummer. So we can only hold two. If you notice, I picked up two additional grenades, but I didn't get the benefit of that, so. I don't know if I can reach this. My head keeps bonking it. There you go. Perfect. All right, so here we go. We're working our way up. Let's go ahead and throw our grenade over here. Oh, gosh. Can I touch that? Whoa! Damn wall. Yeah. Oh, y'all are just going to play hardball, I see. Jump. No. Live. 
I want to go down. I want to see what's down there. Let's go find out. I'm assuming that some... Oh, God. That you're probably supposed to fall and be like, oh, what's up? Seriously. Oh, you guys are tough. I forgot about my roll, so let's see if we can get some iframes out of it next time. Let's go. These seem to be endless hordes of zombies here. They take a lot of damage. Uh, they take a lot of, or they have a lot of health. They take a lot of damage. So we had to just drop down anyway. That sucks. I am about to die. No! Oh, son of a mother. Okay. Fair enough. Now we gotta go kill our zombie. Um, I'm pretty sure I can get back here. I don't remember exactly which cell we were in, but. You've arrived at the location of our fallen agent's final transmission. They should still be in that vicinity, albeit in a somewhat altered state. You have been reassigned to resume their duties, including locating and eliminating the former agent now under Almanet's control. You are fully authorized to procure and use any gear the agent may have been carrying at the time of death, but are advised to use caution. They may be able to use any powerful weapons they were carrying. So let's kind of explain the death mechanic there. It's pretty cool. All right. Now we're whack. We don't have any bombs. Oh my god! Was that, was that right here? It was right here. I think I was right here. Oh yeah, I was right here. I blew, up the, uh, I blew the wall up with the grenade. Damn, he threw a grenade at me. <laughs> Why are you so strong? I don't know what happens if you die twice. Recovered the gear. Yay, give me his health. The gear has been recovered. Let me get up there. Okay, he used my grenade. Alright, let's go up and around. Alright, safety. Grenade. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Damn it, those rats are coming at me. Again. Oh. Come on, platform. It's supposed to respawn for me. Oh, gross. He's like always out of my reach. Overkill. That's okay. It is a rat after all. Uh, I guess let's go right. Any open passageway first. I'm trying to understand the map a little bit better. Okay, so it's a dark area. So, hmm. There seems to be a waypoint over here, so let's go ahead and traverse. Okay. Nice. We got a relic. One of 50. Very nice. I don't know what these do. Excellent. You stumbled across a relic. We've been gathering various icons and baubles from important sites around the world this area was one of the great it was one of great importance for the knights templar and they left many relics like that hidden away we've analyzed text that suggests there could be as many as 50 such relics tucked away in the tunnels beneath london as well as the surrounding areas if you happen to find more please collect them for examination back at prodigium cool so at least we found one 49 to go Down first. Oh gosh. <laughs> right. Oh no, that hurt. So these platforms should. Ah, okay, good. I think it's just right up here. Nice. Is the technician there with you? Very well. We'll need to continue the mission. You found our secondary drop point. I've ordered several helicopters to remain in this area for emergency extraction. If you need to travel to a different drop point quickly, locate a helicopter and press A to board. These ma these points are marked in yellow on your map. Nice. I don't really think I have another helicopter, right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm good. Man. It's just, it's just All right, so we're gonna go down and around. 
see what more we can find this way. Oh, lovely. Ow. There we go. Perfect, okay. Throw our grenades, we can blast through this door here. And we have another save point. We have saved the game. Alright, so we're... I'm to the left of a waypoint, so I probably need to backtrack a little bit, which we can do. You would imagine saving would actually kill you, but I guess not. Ooh, this is going to be tough getting back up. Oh, gosh. I did not mean to fall 50 floors down. Let's go back up. Oh, gosh. Well, now that we're here, <laughs> let's check this area out, too. Oh my. Alright, let's get the power up here. Or the health drop, anyway. I'm afraid of our... Oh, okay, it's just water, at least. They do not play nice with the damage. The, the, whenever you take damage, you do kind of get propelled backwards. Very ninja guiding me. And I'm not a fan of that. Let's see. Okay. Whoa. Good. I do not want to get eaten by those piranhas, so I'm just trying to tread softly here. We're gonna go up. And we're gonna break through this. Oh, this blocked door here. Of course, the rats are coming right at me. You know I love them. This looks like a save point. If it's, I think red means save point. So let's just confirm that that's actually how it works. Yep. So red red cells are save points. I'm not sure what purple is. Maybe like a power up or some sort of relic. So we're all saved up there. Let's look at the map. Um, we are actually really close. I wish I could zoom in just a bit, but it looks like we're really close to the other waypoint that was marked on our map. Oh, gosh. But that's below us somehow. And it's possibly underwater, which is really curious. I'm not sure we can go underwater just yet. Okay, so let's go right and up. Kill these two creatures over here. Ah, uh, okay, that's gonna be a fun jump. I'll go this one instead. I don't think I can do that. Okay. Hmm. Tricky little jump, it seems. Okay, perfect. We're gonna roll through here. And we got a health upgrade. Very nice. Very Metroid, uh, or Super Metroid. Either one, really. Well done, Agent. I see you've collected the health pack the technician was preparing for you. Unfortunately, we're picking up no signs of life other than yours. We must press on regardless. That health pack will increase your maximum health by 100 points. You should be able to find more throughout the mission by carefully exploring your surroundings. I don't need to tell you more. Uh, I'm going to tell you. More health means a greater chance of survival. Very cool. So if you're looking for that health pack or health upgrade, it is on the cell that is glowing. Uh, that is glowing white, I'll say, because the yellow little blinking icon is actually a waypoint. All right, cool. Very cool. Little health pack there increases our life by a hundred points. Fantastic. Because now I won't get killed by rats as easily anymore. 
Alright. Oh, oh gosh. So I don't think I've actually traversed this way yet. I wonder if I can actually make that jump. Is that intended for me to make yet? Oh gosh. Okay. One of the things you have to be very careful about when you're making jumps is you have to know where you, your collision detection kind of ends when in relation to your jumps. So yeah, I can't make that just yet. I don't think it's intended for me to make. So we're gonna go around. We'll go up and around if possible. All right, let's take a look again. So we've got two of the waypoints down. See, the other one is is from is I think some sort of locked door way down here. It's actually in the same chamber. So let's go all the way down. Here. Done blazing style. Okay. I'm getting a little better at dealing with the rats. They're not as disgusting as they once were. So let's see, can we go underwater? Find out. Okay, he just treads the water, so I can't go down. Maybe he's just over here to the left. Oh my. We got the assault rifle. Can swap weapons with X? I will. I can see that technician didn't make it either. Proceed with caution. The situation there may be more dangerous than we anticipated. That weapon they left behind is more powerful than your current rifle. You are fully authorized to use it, as well as any prodigium weapons you can locate throughout your mission. The ammunition for that weapon is not unlimited, however. Keep an eye on the ammo counter and collect any ammunition dropped by defeated enemies. With all three technicians terminated, I fear the situation has progressed far beyond our projections. We cannot risk further delay. Locate and destroy Amanet. I can use Prodigium satellite imaging to approximate her current location. I've uploaded this data to your map. Intercept and engage, agent. Excellent. So he's marked the waypoint. If you're looking for the assault rifle, which seems to be a necessary pickup for you to, for story progression, it's going to be in the cell that's blinking to, in white. Awesome. All right, that's good enough. Let's do it. Oh, I'm just blowing through that ammo. Whoop. He did say that we could uh, recover it with um, defeated enemies. He lied. I don't mind health. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. It seems a lot more powerful though, which I am very pleased with. There's some ammo. Okay, so it's from destructible items as well as hopefully enemy kills. Yes, indeed. Okay, cool. I like that a lot. Um, he did mark the location on my map. I had paid no attention to where it's at, so let's take a look here. Uh, and see. Well, we just need to go up and to the right, so pretty, so far so good. I mean, I would say the navigation is a lot more understandable for me. I mean, I was playing Super Metroid when I was like five, so I'm not necessarily, I wasn't probably the best uh, at navigating, you know, 2D maps. Let's go ahead and do a little save here so that we can uh, be right across from the intended point. I wonder if... Oh, okay, I was going to say, I wonder, and I guess not. I was going to say, I wonder if we re get, regain our health or if we're able to regain our ammunition at save points, but we do not. Unlike Metroid, because in Super Metroid, whenever you go to save point, you do regenerate health. Oh gosh, there's Almanette right there. Seemingly gaining energy from these dead people. Hmm, I sustain myself on the living. <laughs> Actually, you do not stand a chance. She was flipping me off again. So I guess I won't have to hold the trigger button this whole the rest of the run. Especially because I don't have unlimited ammo anymore. Alright, so where do we go next? Alright. Yeah, this is much more powerful than the other rifles, so we'll be keeping this equipped. I'm just kidding. As much as possible, because uh, if we can keep getting drops as frequently as we have, we should be okay. Have it. This is one of the pushes that we destroyed, right? Ah, 
We can't grab items while rolling. That's unfortunate. Alright, so let's head up. And grab these. Perfect. Yeah, so the drops are very common. I like that. Let's go back this way. The music's great, by the way. Let's go down first. Oh my god, I didn't mean to fall down the entire area, but... Alright. Down into the left. We got a save point. I'm okay with that. We have died once so far. Hopefully we don't die again. Tall order. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. This is great. Little crazy skeleton man. I, okay, I wasn't sure if his little bones were gonna hurt us, so I kind of over anticipated there. So I don't know. Let's just take. What I'm trying to do is a path of least resistance here, and just find my way all the way across. Um, as I can continue to progress, I mean, I'm gonna allow myself to do so. A bandolier, max ammo capacity increased. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. So let's go ahead and take a look at where we can find the bandolier on the map. It's going to be the glowing white cell that is kind of in that light blue area there in the middle of the map. Not the waypoint, of course, the one that's blinking yellow, but the one that's blinking white. That's how you get the bandolier so we can increase our ammo capacity. Cool. So, you know, something like that. I'm just trying to make sure I can um, locate all these, uh, these secrets that are kind of, I would say, low-hanging fruit. Um, so that I can really then make my way towards the more difficult items. We got a second relic. Only 48 to go. That dude's throwing his ribs at us. Oh no, I fell like a fool. That's okay. Let's go back up if we can. Oh, nice. Okay, that was a little tight of a jump, but we got it. And no, we're, we're going to backtrack. We're not going to skip anything if we can help it. Telling any to get a new Joy-Con, because my, uh, I play really hard. <laughs> I'm on four babies, so I need to get some new ones. Put these away, put these on the shelf. Oh gosh, guess we're going down. We have plenty of areas to explore though, that's for sure. Plenty. Alright, so we're, wake we're making our way towards these other areas, but I I'm a little hesitant to just continue moving so far forward. I don't mind going down, because I feel like there's a way to get back up. But I don't want to just simply go further and further to the right, because I feel like I'll be missing out. I bet this is a save room if I'm starting to get the layout down. Okay, it's not. I don't think I can reach this area. Nope, I don't have the, oh, I don't have the jumps for that just yet. So we're not going to go there just yet. Which is perfectly fine. Oh, I don't think I have anything for that. Careful, Agent. That tunnel stretches far below your current position, and you'd never survive the fall. Okay. Guess I can take some fall damage. There you go. We're going up. That bat got away. He got away with killing me. Or hit oh, hitting me. Let's go over here. Actually, no. We're going to go back. I want to get all the sweet sweet loot. If we can get some potential upgrades, that'd be amazing. There's something in there, I'm sure. This is where we came from. Okay. Guess I could have looked at the map there. Silly me. Oh, no. Okay. 
perfect. Let's see what's in here. Looks like a map. We've got the area map, which is awesome. So now we kind of have an idea of all the stuff that we could be getting. Again, I think purple is an upgrade, so that's really cool. Let's go, if we can, let's go up and to the left. Because we do need to kind of go back to where we're at. Oh no. Those bats are absolute bastards. I don't think I can make that jump. Ah. Just missed it. I don't have a ton of ammo left, so we gotta be kind of careful here. Ooh, the spider almost dropped on my head. Here's another save point. Okay, cool. At least we're not too far. So, what I'd like to do is go ahead and go down and to the right now, and then once we get an, a, a means to go back a little bit easier, then we will. We'll go back and explore some more. Let's go down. Ouch. Another relic. This is the third relic of 50. Ouch. Okay. These guys are relentless. Oh, man. He came out of there. Ah, keep falling into there each time. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to kill myself jumping in this acid. Haha, -ha, you missed. Oh my gosh, okay, that was terrible. Terrible idea. Bullets. Rib dudes. Oh, I'm back to my standard weapon, not the assault rifle. That's no good. I don't think I can make that jump, huh? Nope. Okay, so I guess we're going to get some sort of jump upgrade at a later point. I don't remember. Again, I've played this game many years ago, so I don't remember. A little rusty. We're going to go to the right. See where this takes us. Remain cautious, Agent. Our readings suggest a very concentrated source of dark energy nearby. One of our save terminals shouldn't be too far from your location. Now might be an ideal time to record the details of your mission thus far. So you're telling me there's going to be the first boss? Yes, please. Alright. Oh, I forgot they fall. That's one good. Excellent. Excellent. -er. Perfect. Ouch. Alright, so let's go down to the left. I'm assuming that will be the save point. If it's an area that allows it to progress further, it may not be. Okay, cool. This will be our, our next save point. Off we go. Perfect. Okay, so I think we have full ammo at this point. And if we don't, we oughta. Okay, now we have full ammo. Alright, I am ready for the boss. Is this the boss? This is not the boss. This looks like a boss room. Excellent. Liz Amonet, you have little time left to make peace with your gods. My power grows. You do not comprehend the spectacle of terror I shall bring upon your world. Now she's a little bit more human. -oriented. Oh my gosh, it's a massive spider. At least it's not a massive rat. Oh god. Oh, you just hit its butt. It's not that bad. Okay. Got acid. Oh, rocks. Dodge. Okay, we don't have life range. Hoping the 
that would do a little bit more damage. Alright, we need to go ahead and ration out. Dodge, okay. He kinda, he, he, fortunately, he likes to do damage off on the sides. I did not have iframes there. Okay. Very Metroid-esque where they get darker and darker as you deal more damage. He has kind of pink now, but probably right on the cusp of dying here. Right in the middle. Perfect. Dodge! Dodge! Death. Okay. Use the last of our shots there. Switch back over to our unlimited ammo rifle. We'll shoot the babies next. Get some heals on the way. Rock. And then we'll go to the right. This boss should be dead any second now. I wish I could throw a grenade and aim it a little better, because I would toss one right now and it'd be done. Done ski. Excellent, we got it. First try. Good stuff. So we defeated Almanette's pet spider, and I jumped in the acid on accident. Let's see what uh, this spider was protecting. Nice. The sc scroll of Kepri. Cling to ceilings by holding ZL and ZR. Excellent work, Agent. You located an artifact? The scroll of Kepri, to be exact. Artifacts are very powerful relics, surviving from ages long past. Due to the critical nature of this mission, you are authorized to use their powers. There are many other artifacts in the surrounding areas. Locate as many as you can. They might prove to be our only hope against Amanet. This scroll will allow you to cling along or climb along any ceiling by pressing and holding ZL or ZR. When you come into contact with the ceiling, press release ZL zero to drop to the ground. Excellent. That's really cool. So again, after you defeat the spider boss, um, if you're looking for the scroll of Kepri, which allows you to cling to walls or ceilings, actually, um, it's on the glowing point on the map. And actually, this point, this time, it is the waypoint. <laughs> So cool. Okay, so let's check it out. We can go here. It may take some time to adjust the powers that artifacts provide. Since there aren't any dangerous life forms nearby, you should be able to safely practice this new ability. The scroll of Kepri you recently acquired allows you to climb along the ceiling by pressing and holding the Okay, I got you, I got you. I got you, Russ. Alright, cool. Now, let me just make sure the waypoint is still there for some reason. I don't know why. Did I miss anything else? Okay, I'm not sure why it's still doing that. That's fine. Let's move back and uh, kind of backtrack a little bit. And looks like we beat the first boss. Almanet is on the move. We've managed to locate her current position. She's moved deep underground, likely into the subway network below you. You must pursue her agent. Oh, you must pursue her agent. Caverns leading downward should be marked in green on your map. But you'd never survive the fall unaided. Fortunately, you should be able to find repel gear stashed nearby one such cavern. Collect the repel gear, then use it to descend into the tunnels. If we act quickly, we may be able to stop Amanette before she regains her full power. Nice, so they want me way down there, uh, which is perfect because we're going to backtrack a bit and go back to the... Uh, the beginning of this second area here uh, so that we can go ahead and find any other secrets with our newly gained ability. I like it. Yeah, this is excellent. This is definitely my this is my thing right here. Definitely my kind of game. We've got full ammo. We'll go ahead and save since we defeated that first boss and picked up the first relic that we can use. And this is a relic that's uh, actually usable, like an item that enhances our abilities, or get, grants us in-game abilities. It's not one of the relics that we just have to find or uh, seemingly just collectible. So. Alright, spiders are just trying it. I do not want them falling on my head. Do this. 
And then we're going to use a grenade. I'm hoping it's a bandolier. Ooh, okay, this is another path. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a whirl. I suck at jumping in this game. I can't reach that just yet, so... That's unfortunate, but we're gonna kill him a little bit later, which was early on. Okay. Oh, okay, barely made that. Nailed it! Okay. Just kidding. We're gonna go this way. Oh, gosh. Exploration. This is a good Metroidvania. We'll bust down this wall with a grenade, and we'll get another weapon. Looks like the shotgun. Nice. Swap weapons with X. Let's take a look. All right. So we have our shotgun. And we have a grenade and the assault rifle. Perfect. So if you're looking for the shotgun, I'm going to go ahead and mark it on the map. It is the purple cell that is now glowing or blinking white. And this is in the second area. After you get the wall cling ability or the scroll of Kepri, you can access the shotgun. Let's go ahead and head out. Okay, hold on. I don't want to use my shotgun necessarily, not these guys. Shotgun is probably going to be excellent for bosses and things like that. Ouch. Clear these guys up. No! We are on our single health right at this point. We're going to be very careful. Oh my gosh. I'm jumping like a fool. Terrible jump. Let's go back around and jump up instead. Perfect, and we made the jump. Okay, excellent. You know, I didn't. I never would have thought that clinging to the ceilings would have granted uh, you know us additional mobility or able to, ability to reach other areas. So that's kind of cool. It was kind of outside the box. Normally you can get like a double jump or something. You know? I think we'll be able to go up this time. I'm gonna get the shotgun so I can kill enemies quickly. Let's get getting killed here. There are way too many. <laughs> Spiders in this cavern. Fortunately, they seem to have an end. They don't just spawn infinitely, because if they did, that would be really unfortunate for us. Go ahead and heal so we get some additional health. Oops, I forgot to cling to that wall from that ceiling. There we go. Perfect, okay. Let's go this way, to the left. It should open up a whole new area it's based on the map, yeah. Okay, perfect. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna go up and above, because it does look like that's an area that would be a helicopter. And that's gonna allow us to fast travel. Excellent. 
actually. Got it. Okay. I don't think I can, can I make it. Since it's jagged, I think it just stops. Okay, so I can't reach that just yet. There, maybe there is a double jump then. So we got this area. Perfect. I do want to fast travel back to the second point. So it should be this one right here. This is going to allow us to search that beginning area a little bit better. And then we can find any new secrets or possibly even more power-ups. Once you gain the map, though, it does kind of show you. Like, purple definitely stands for power-up and yellow is fast travel point. So I think we're going to start really learning what we, you know, if it's worth our time to come back and, and I guess, uh, backtrack a bit. So we don't have the repel gear yet. So let's go. Oops. Let's save, actually. Let's do that. Do let's. So we're going to roll through here and save. And then we can go directly to the right. And clear up anything else we missed in the map. And then we're going to go to the teal area again. If it's teal. Not really. It's more like a cyan. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a greenish, bluish. I'm, I think I'm colorblind, actually. The more I try and figure out what color it is, the less I am confident in my analysis. Ah. Let's go through and avoid these little buddies here. The little zombified Londoners. Ooh, okay. So maybe not. That's fine. Let's go across. And roll. Oh, it still hurts. There's no, uh, there's no iframes when you roll, even through tunnels, which is ridiculous. But oddly enough, you can't grab things. There's no pickups. So even if you're rolling through a narrow area and there's a drop, you can't actually pick it up whenever you're going through that, you know, that kind of narrow tunnel. It's weird. Really strange, but hey, we'll get used to it. So I can't... Oh, God. No. This way, this way. These spiders are jerks. All right, I'm killing everybody. Carefully, that spider was coming in hot. Jump, jump. And let's see if we can cling to this ceiling here. Perfect. Gosh, those spiders are so annoying. They're very precise in their, dro in their dropping behavior. <laughs> Look at that. Ah. Okay, so let's go to the right and hopefully up and to the left to get this other power up, but it looks like it might be out of reach. Oh my gosh, there's werewolves. We're switching to the shoddy. Does this grant me... I wonder if those... What seem to be assault rifle bullets... Yeah, they do. Okay. I was say, what are shotgun bullets, though? What do those look like? Are these shotgun bullets? Yes. Okay. Cool. So they all have their own respective ammo type. There, okay, there is a way. Die. Okay. Don't do it. Oh gosh, that's cheap. And let's see. Hopefully this is the power. Ooh, an extra uh, med pack. 
our health pack. So our max health has increased even further. So if you're looking for the health pack, it is in the purple cell, right in the blue area, or in the map, that is blinking. Um, once you have the scroll of Keprin, you can climb on ceilings. If you go to this area here, you have to kind of go all the way forward a bit, and then once you can move up a few levels, you just kind of make a precarious, a few precarious jumps, and then you're able to reach the health pack. Excellent. Okay, cool. So that's a nice little upgrade. That was, uh, I didn't know you could just dodge those guys. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, they come back. Shotgun has a very slow rate of fire. Oh, the automatic rifle is far superior. Looks like there's a lot more DPS. Oh, I can't reach that. Is that a bad thing? Oh, no. I don't know if it's going to go away or something. I hope not. But we'll have to come back for that later. We don't have the, uh, the skills needed just yet. The abilities. The skill. We just lack the abilities. Alright, here goes. Oh, nice. He, can, he was holding him to the ceiling. I was like, why am I just... Okay, so now let's go ahead and head back this way. And we're going to go towards that green area, which we know is the repel station. So maybe that's where we need to go so that we can get the rest of the, uh, or, or explore the rest of the map. So let's go check it out. Really good soundtrack, by the way. Kind of spooky. Kind of nice to listen to. It's not too annoying. There's not any you know, kind of crazy, like old school tunes. Man, the only thing is, I wish the roll was a little bit more effective, you know? I could probably save since I obtained a new weapon. So I'll go ahead and save. And then, look at the map again, figure where the heck I'm at. We should fall all the way down, I guess, huh? All the way down and to the right. Let's see if we have the, the mad skills needed to reverse this area. Do I need to throw a grenade there? Okay, that didn't work. So that's a locked door, I'm not sure I can get through that. No. Okay. Oh, let me try falling down and to the left. Okay, so let's do this. Nope, I can't swim. I have to come back around then oh, before the bats eat me. Okay. So, I guess I do need to continue exploring the area, so let's just go all the way up there, and we're going to fast travel back to the save point that we were at in the teal area. Ah, missed. That's okay, though. One, two, three, go. Eh, whatever. All right, we're going to keep moving forward. Up, up, up. And then we're going to go to the helicopter area and fast travel back to that other point that we were at. And maybe some of these other areas are going to give us, you know, get those secrets that we need to go ahead and go to the green cells and rappel down. Let's 
see, that's a save point again. There's got to be a way. Well, I'm going to go ahead and save. But there's got to be a way to actually go uh, down to the right. So I'm going to show you on the map real quick. Save. So if we go down a few, like left, into that vertical corridor, and then we go to the right, we should be able to find, you know, I'm trying to get to this, that purple cell directly across from us right now, because that's probably the gear that we need. But if I go directly up, I can't reach it or climb across the ceiling, because it seems like it's not, uh, it's too jagged. It's not, it's not very flat. So let me see here. How do I get across? I just need to go directly across like this. I feel like I've already been here. No, I didn't actually, but I thought I explored everything there was to explore here, but perhaps not. Let's go through. Oh, okay, yeah. We did go in here, but this room ended, I thought. Oh, no, I can't. I can't jump through here. But maybe it's not about jumping, maybe it's just about me climbing. There's no ceiling to climb here. Oh god. Dang, okay, so there isn't a ceiling for me to cling to. Interesting. Well... That is curiouser and curiouser. We have both maps, which means... Okay, so that means we need to go left. We need to go left, and there's a purple icon, which is a power-up, that's probably directly located near the hotel group, so let's do it. Oops, I went the wrong way. Something in here, all right. We're gonna go here instead. Jump up this way, kill bones over here. Ah. down the vertical corridor and then to the left. So. And maybe here we can climb on the ceiling. Yes. Okay, perfect. Come to Papa. No. Or not. bomb this little path here and we've got it looks like the repel gear repel gear securely climb into deep pits okay perfect so if you're looking for the repel gear all we need to do is you need to have the scroll of capri and then you drop down right next to the boss area and go all the way down to the left and this glowing cell here that's purple and this is where we get the repel gear then we can pretty much head right back the other way and go into the room that was before, something we couldn't even interact with yet, but now we can actually progress forwards with the repel gear so we can go down into the depths. I think we're going deep into the caverns at this point. Okay, it should just be right across the way. Oh, perfect throw, my friend. Whew! We've got some incredible aim. Alright, so now we have the repel gear. I'm not sure. Okay, just press A. Perfect. Goodbye. Excellent. Okay, so now we're here. Where to next? Let's go left. Oh my gosh, it's a massive scarab. I'm glad the rats can't drop down on me, that'd be disgusting. No, okay. So 
Sounds good. So far, so good. It's a pretty straightforward path there. Let's go all the way across. Maybe this is a safe one. Yep. Each area pretty much is very forgiving and it introduces you to a save point pretty quickly. That way you can die, which I have no intention of doing, and safely return to your body, but I don't want to. I did not mean to fall down, but since we're here... Oh. Rate of fire is terrible on this, but that's, uh, that's you know, understandable. Prefer quick rate of fire in games like this, just better DPS as well. So. Couldn't climb the ceiling, and this is probably a relic. Yes, 450. Perfect. I wish you could pan the camera down a bit, but instead, we're gonna have to do it. Let's see what's over here. I can't believe I just wasted that. This is another bandolier. Excellent. Max ammo capacity increased. So this can be obtained in the glowing cell and now in the blue area. Sort of next to the waypoint there in the middle of the screen. So if you're looking for another bandolier to further increase your ammo capacity, this is where you get it. Alright. Oh my gosh, there are way too many rats. That's starting to freak me out a little bit. I'm gonna switch to my shot. Okay, we're pretty much stuck here at the bottom, so let's uh, <laughs> let's see what we got. As per usual, we're gonna go down and then work our way up. Shotgun ammo. That's trash. I wasn't sure what that was, but let's go here to the left and see what we got. Looks like another area. We are down pretty much at what seems to be almost the bottom of this area. I don't think I can climb across this. This is probably going to be some other type of jump. So we're pretty much stuck there. I have to come back. And let's jump across this way. Okay, there's just another little area there. Right, let's just go down to the left and we'll keep doing this until we kind of find out where we need to our stopping point is we have another save point which is excellent we were we were saved at the top but i think we're going to have to get another ability that allows us to get back up because we did fall down a pretty good distance so my goal is to try to go as low as I can. Excellent throw, my friend. That looks like a secret. <gasps> this looks like a secret here. This wall looks really weird. Okay, so maybe there aren't fake walls. I'm overthinking. Oh my gosh, there are no iframes when I tried to roll into that. Shotgun. I mean, these spiders take a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and switch to the automatic rifle and see how... Yeah, the automatic rifle is just far superior. The DPS is just way better. Um, I think we can just climb across. I don't think we even need to. Do that. Oh my gosh, yeah, we might need to. There are piranhas there. And we're jumping, we're jumping. Okay. We're making our way across to the left here. Um, let's go ahead and pick up some health here. Farm some health. Jump across and down and roll. Jump. Shotgun shells. More shotgun shells. 
poorly timed jump, so I accidentally fell. It's okay. Ooh. Oh no. Thankfully the bat is not gonna make it in time. We're gonna roll outside this door here. And I don't know what this is. We're just gonna keep finding our way further and further out. That's fine. There's only so many paths we can take without getting stopped by or because of the limitations of our abilities. Things like that. So I'm not too worried about getting lost. The map's really easy to navigate, considering it's a metro band, and usually a pain in the butt. Ouch. Ah. Alright, so I wonder, is this just the way that I came? This looks like something different, actually. Another path. Oh, so we're getting close to whatever. Probably another boss fight, to be honest. What the heck? These things just soak up bullets. And I can't get there either. Okay, cool. I'm okay with that. I like knowing which paths I can and can't traverse because now I know that I pretty much. And, and, and being stopped by design, so I'm okay with that. Ah! I'm not okay with falling down, though. Up, up, up. Alright. We're too late, Agent. Ominets change location and move deeper into the tunnels. It's a little... It's little consolation, but there should be another artifact nearby. Examine the surrounding rooms and see what you can find before moving on. You'll need as much assistance as possible to confront the target. Okay, I can't really get in there. Let's try this passageway. Shotgun. Let's actually switch to that. Okay, perfect. We can make that jump. I wasn't sure we we're gonna be able to make that. There you go. The roll finally coming in handy. We got another grenade here. Here's the relic. Perfect. I didn't mean to choose a grenade on it, but we got the scroll of Kidway. Agent run speed increased. Awesome. We've got some increased run speed here. Okay. Oh, nice. You can make further jumps now. Very cool. Oh, my God. I don't have any grenades. Okay, we're going to have to farm some nades. Dang it. Okay, cool. So now that we've got increased speed, or running speed, we will be able to go across that way and get that speed here before long, if I don't keep falling down these, uh, these narrow ledges here. This is probably a save point. I haven't seen one in this area. Let's see. That means I can go up. Nice. What is this connection to? Oh, cool. Let's go to the left real quick and kind of come full circle. A relic, nice, five of fifty. Very cool. Can I open this thing? That is so strange. I still can't open that that passageway. Even from below. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna die. I didn't realize that little wooden plank actually stopped me or prevented me from falling. But I am thankful for it. Alright, grasshopper from hell. Locus. We're going to jump across. Oh, good. I was needing a save point. So 
now that we've got our save point, we can do a little bit more exploration, be a little more, more risky. We do have the uh, in, uh, increased speed, so we should be able to make some strange jumps that require a little bit more speed than normal. So we can get more distance out of them. There you go, we got the grenade at least. Which, fortunately, we don't even have to be fancy with it. We can just do that right there. This might require some speed. Okay, so. Oh, that's so close. Ooh, we made it. Oh, oh I do have one. Okay, perfect. And we found another item here, the incendiary grenade. Throw a grenade with R. Perfect. Congratulations, Agent. You've unlocked yet another weapon. Unfortunately, this exceeds your maximum capacity. You'll need to select the weapons you wish to carry with you, leaving the surplus and the weapon cache before, before you. You can access those weapons later from any weapon cache, should you change your mind. What's more, you may return to any weapon cache to fully refill the ammunition of all currently equipped weapons. All caches will be marked in pink on your map for your reference. Well, thank you. See, I thought that was purple, but it's pink. So, I mean, I am freaking colorblind. I am, that's just, that's just the moral of the story. I've made the determination. So, if you're looking for the incendiary grenade, just go to this area marked on the map in the quote-unquote pink cell, which I thought were formerly purple, but that's just because I can't distinguish those between the two colors, apparently. And that is where you get the incendiary grenades. Ah, that's gonna be hard to make if we're going slow. Okay. Yikes, that's gonna be a tough jump to make. Jump! Okay, that was close. Okay, here goes. Got the distance, nice. Okay, I do like that little uh, increased speed deal. Pretty nice. Okay, let's look at the map and see where we need to go. Um, I'm assuming down. That would make sense. Down and to the right. We're gonna dodge this little zombie here. Make our way back around. I think we'll have the distance that we'll, we'll, we have the speed that we need to clear this jump that was previously inaccessible. Yeah, let's do that. That seems like fun. Shotgun, face. Okay, there you go. I was gonna say acid to the face. Okay. These enemies don't seem to respawn, so that should be fine, I guess. And you do keep your speed when you jump, which is awesome. Oh, okay, I get it. I get you. Let's try that again from the start. Do this. There it is. Wow, that's nice. It feels good, too. Oh, I almost made that. Nice! So if you hit a wall, you do slow down. We're learning, though. That's fun. I do like that. We need to farm some health. These zombies seem to spawn infinitely, so... Let's get our money's worth out of these guys. So far, no big health drops. They're pretty stingy with the health. There you go. They heard me. Thank you, developers. Alright, so this guy... Excellent. We're just going to keep doing this until we get uh, our full health, and then we'll... I feel like we're coming up on an encounter, and that's why, because we've just gained a new ability, so now it's like, oh, you think you're OP, but they're going to try and knock us down a notch. And I think that, you know, considering movie-based games and the notoriety and infamy that they've had because they've usually been so terrible in the past. This is one of the games that kind of 
I'd say argues the other way, you know, argues the point the other way around. It's like, you know what? You can't have good games based off movies. Historically, that most of them are terrible. All right. So we've pretty much connected all of these areas here. So now let's go directly across. This is where I kind of stop. The rats, however disgusting they may be, they do. I'd say they are a lot more generous with their drops. So <laughs> only after a few kills, we got pretty much all our health back. So that's good. All right, this looks like another speed kind of yep speed based room. I'm gonna kill you with this instead, and let's try that jump again. All right, here goes. Okay, we made it. Woo! I'm gonna kill you next. We're doing that. Okay, we need to go back. Those spiders are quite the bastards. Okay, well we did we'd get stopped a little bit, but I think that was fun. Oh, not the light weapon here for these little guys. What I need to do is actually see if I can get enough momentum to come across. Oof. Too close for comfort. I wonder, can I carry the momentum from another room? If so, I'll, I'll have just the speed I need. I don't know. I don't know if it felt a little better or not. I'm curious. Let's try that again. This rat gets me every time. I can tell if I'm going from here, that's for sure. Ooh, I just completely whipped the jump there. That's fine. Let's try that again. I think it. I think it does work that way. I think you can carry your momentum through from one screen to the next, which is awesome. Yep. Let's go ahead and bust this thing down and get another health pack. So now our health has even further improved. In order to get this health pack, you need to go to the pink cell, which I thought was purple. And I'll keep saying that because I'm pretty much confident I'm colorblind. And uh, you need to actually run from the previous room, and you can carry your momentum into this cell here across the way, so that you can make the jump and get the health back. I don't think I can go up here yet. So let's go ahead and make our way down first. Avoid these uh, disgusting rats here. Oh man, I was hoping that was a relic. We weren't so lucky. I just got knocked down. It's okay. I guess the rat was telling me where to go. So let's go to the left. A save room here. But this one actually continues onward. It's not actually stopping. So uh, we have some more area to explore. Seemingly. That's probably a boss. Let's see if we can go up here. Check this area out a little bit better. I'm really waiting to, or anxious to backtrack a little bit and see what other secret power-ups we can find, if there are any secret ones. But it seems like if you get the area map, it pretty much tells you. Okay, so there's one to go. We didn't miss much at all. Let's go ahead and head down over here to the left and see what there is on, you know, to explore. And then, depending on what we find, might be a good point to uh, a good stopping point. Let's drop down. This looks like a fun area. You're a fool to follow me here. I ascended from the pit bathed in the blackest darkness. I have overcome fear, madness, and death. I command the power of the void. Who hopes to stop me? You? Can you survive a land without light? Would you face she who devours the dead? So be it. Uh oh, she's summoning another boss. Oh my gosh. This one's awesome. Right, here goes. Go! Oh, that's what you That is not fun. What happens if I die on a boss?
Oh, jump over here. Oh, he bites. Out. Jump! You can do your fireball? Nope. Don't scratch at me. What is that? Oh my gosh! Shot me right here. Run! I can run faster than you. This is a great boss fight. I need my shotty. Oh. My Okay. No. Okay. Ooh, that's getting tight. I don't have a lot of health here. Are you doubled up on your fireball? That's. <gasps> okay. Let's throw a grenade. Oh! Five health left. Oh, I can't want to keep jumping into those. I died. I jumped into the fireball like a genius. You're not a genius. All right, let's try this again. Uh, left. I don't think I'm gonna have full ammo because this is not a weapons cache. Oh, he's over here. What's up, bruh? Ooh, I'm glad he hasn't used a grenade. But we did recover all of our gear. And fortunately, they're really nice because we were just we died at a boss area, so. Oh, you know what? We did get a lot of our ammunition back, so that's perfect. All right, let's do this again. Let's beat the dragon. Oh, I've already seen and I've already seen and acted this out, Amanet. Yes, I do hope to stop you. Summon your dragon. Do this. Alright, here goes. Okay. Why did I jump in the fire? Why? Jump. We're gonna avoid. Oh gosh, you can double up even in that phase. That's not fun. We're gonna shotgun as much as possible right here. Whee! Jump across that. That's fine. We're gonna keep getting these shots in. Oh my gosh, maybe not. Sprint, little man. Sprint. Shotgun. Shotgun, shotgun. Okay. Fortunately, we had some ice rams there, so I am all good with that. Moves. Probably gonna shoot some fireballs here. No? Maybe not. We're gonna shoot from afar here. Ah, uh, I did it again. Yep. Oh my gosh, I got, I jumped right into the fire and then I jumped right into her fireball. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I just love fireballs. It's okay, we're gonna keep doing this. I will do this all day if you let me. Gosh, that fireball was quick. That one came in hot. But she is on the verge of death here. Jump. Oh, 
roll. Roll. Wait for this next big old fireball over here. And we're sprinting. This is kind of like all she wrote right here. We have no further space. Watch out for the fireball. Watch out. Oh, I was going to say watch out for a stomp or a chomp. Yeah! Jump over this fireball here and watch the second one. Nope, she's going to just rear her head back up and probably try to scratch me here. Nope, jump over that fireball. And rear the head back up. Dodge the scratch. Dodge this fireball. I actually get hit right in the face with it. And kill the ball. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that was fun. It took two tries, but if you just started watching, it's the first try. Excellent. SOS, attention all Prodigium field agents. Return to headquarters immediately. We are under attack. I repeat, Prodigium is being attacked by the monsters under Ominette's control. We must thwart her advance before Prodigium itself is compromised. All agents report to Prodigium headquarters immediately. Waypoint, way the hell over there. Okay, yeah, that's fun. Let's do that, Russ. Ow. Okay. Oh, you throw your bones with such accuracy. Enough to make anyone jealous. I need a save point. We're going to go back up this way. Hopefully I can reach a save point. I don't feel safe here. Rats! Oh god, why did that one get so aggressive? Nope. Oh, he still got me. He has like, anticipatory trajectory shooting aimbot. Going here, give me that save point, baby. Is this you? I would love some iframes on the roll, man. Going this way. We've got six out of fifty. We almost got it. We're coming for you, relics. We're coming. For you. Oh, pink means. Uh, okay, well, at least we've come full circle and we have located our safe. No, that, no. Gosh, those things are feisty. Alright, so now that we've saved, I think this is an excellent time to kind of go over what we're going to be doing for the rest of the week on the stream channel and uh, that we know kind of what to expect. So, first and foremost, we will be completing uh, the Mummy Demastered. And we're doing this Metroidvania coming right off of an Ender Lilies playthrough, 100% playthrough that is. So if you want to go check it out, please be sure to do that. Also on my main channel, I have featured a lore video on the story, which is, I would say, semi-convoluted. There's still much to be uncovered, and so be on the lookout for more future videos on uh, Ender Lilies if you're interested in the story. Uh, this channel, you know, is going to kind of continue focusing on Metroidvanias for a little bit. Um, I will be continuing through Mummy Demastered until we beat it. All in anticipation of uh, Death's Door, which will be releasing on July 20th. So we have about a week or so to kind of mess around and play this game. Uh, I'll also be continuing my boss guides for Ender Lilies, so be on the lookout for the next video coming out, which is the boss guide on Ulv the Mad Knight, where I will beat him on stream so you guys can see exactly what his techniques are and how to pick them apart so you can defeat him at your leisure. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, stream so far. We will be playing some more uh, Mummy Demastered, possibly later tonight, if not later during the week. So uh, let's go ahead and bring this one to an end. So today, I opened up the Mummy Demastered. Today, I defeated Almanac's Pet Spider and Pet Dragon. And today, I streamed the Mummy Demastered for your viewing pleasure. What the fuck have you done lately? It's the Inhuman One signing out. 
I'll catch you guys next time.